Hi, it's the 20th of March, plenty of news, let's get right into it. Global fresh water demand will outstrip supply by 40% by 2030. They're gambling on it now, to be honest. Uh, so, um, yeah, hmm. have a read of that one. HCC calls for full red meat traceability in the UK. Now, this will lead to meat restrictions, in my uh, opinion, um, and uh, rationing. So, uh, yeah. Former DEFRA advisor says the UK should get rid of all sheep. There's a new bill to unlock gene editing in the UK and that nears royal assent. In the US, it's already happening with their um, Mon and Santo stuff. So um, it's coming to us soon. Nearly 200 banks are at risk for the same fate as Silicon Valley Bank. Silicon Valley Bank in the UK hands out 15 million in bonuses days after the one pound rescue. That is absolutely insane. Really, I can't, I can't understand that one. Multiple banks curb trading with Credit Suisse. Now, the big news of last night was that Credit Suisse has been rescued by UBS and I believe the Swiss government. First Republic Bank was rescued by 11 other banks to the tune of $30 billion. Regional banks see a flight of deposits to the too big to fail banks. Now, those three articles um, really sort of show you that this is all by design and uh, there's going to be less and less and less banks. And the banks that remain will be the ones that uh, do what the government asked them to do. Unlimited deposit insurance gains momentum in the US Congress. This one's a good one. Nigeria's old currency has now been extended for use until the 31st of December. Um, I've done a lot of reports on this where they were all queuing up uh, outside cash points, being restricted to £45 a day or $45 a day. Now they've managed to actually get that uh, extended by quite a few months. Government-backed digital money will represent $213 billion in payments by 2030. 114 countries are in the planning stage or in all-out pilots. We've got to do everything we can to make sure that nobody accepts these digital currencies. They are not private and they will restrict all your sort of buying of meat, which is what I've alluded to at the start of this uh, report, uh, or restrict things like alcohol, chocolate, pizza, things like that, gold, silver. Yeah, so we don't want that. We want, uh, we want our privacy back, so cash is king. The next challenge for chat GPT is to save the NHS. I think it's already gone, to be honest. Elon Musk has plans to build his own Texas town called Snailbrook. And I wouldn't want to live there because it'll all be a smart place. And I don't want I don't want the smart fridge seeing what I'm eating and, you know, things like that. Smart equals surveillance. Cessnock in New South Wales is embroiled in a theory about smart cities. Hmm. Hunt, Jeremy Hunt. Helps rich instead of helping people into work, says a think tank. Inflation causing Canadians to, sorry, inflation is causing Canadian seniors to postpone retirement. So it's happening all around the world. In the UK, they're trying to get over 50s back to work and it's failing miserably. The staff tax raid on UK workers is to rake in £120 billion. As I keep saying, literally every other report I do, they're going to tax us and tax us and tax us into oblivion. Uh, this is why you should really consider looking at what gold and silver can do. But again, do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. There's a new app that turns mobile phones into dash cams that can report 21 traffic offences to the police with a simple push of the button. So this is now turning like citizens into being the police of each other. And uh, it turns more and more into East Germany at uh, circa 1961 to 1989 every day. This is a little win. Birmingham's ULES version is in chaos as 70,000 fines are overturned. So that's a couple of little good news stories, which is very unheard of in my reports, unfortunately. Zuckerberg apparently is pivoting now to AI. 
And finally, the EU moves into negotiations on the legal framework for digital ID and the wallet plan. So yeah, the EU is looking very draconian, dystopian at the moment. And the UK and their Brexit looks like what they're trying to do is uh, make Brexit so tough that we will all scream to go back into the EU. We don't want to go back into the EU when they're doing things like this. So please pass this on to as many as you can. Um, I'm throttled, shadow banned, etc. So if you can get it out there to others, uh, that'd be great. And as per usual, all these articles will be in the pinned comment. I'll see you on the next one.